Right learners. <laughs> Hello again. I'm so happy to see you today. Okay, today we're reading chapters 16, 17, 18, and 19 of How to Eat Fried Worms. Ready? Let's go. Chapter 16, The Sixth Worm. Billy gulped it triumphantly, serene, untroubled. By the door, Alan glowered, his mind racing. He's going to do it. He'll win. What'll I do? Fifty dollars. Joe sat on an overturned pail, whistling, <sighs> gazing carelessly about, sneaking a glance now and then at Billy. What had gone wrong? Why hadn't he cracked? Outside, Tom lurked sheepishly in the bushes behind the stone wall, peering at the barn. The Seventh Worm Billy ate it offhand, sideways, reading a comic book. Alan and Joe squatted glumly in the barn door, watching him. As Billy was daubing horseradish sauce on the last bite, Tom's head appeared in a corner of the grimy window. He waved tentatively at Billy. Ignoring him, Billy gulped down the last bite, wiped his mouth, and tucking his comic book under his arm, strolled airily out of the barn, saying, remarking over his shoulder, See you tomorrow, fellas! Chapter 18. <laughs> the Eighth Worm Where's Joe? asked Billy, spreading mustard down the length of the fried worm. He wouldn't come, said Alan sullenly. It's no fair putting on that much mustard. Ha ha, said Billy. Who says I can put on as much as whatever I want, and you know it? Why wouldn't he come? How should I know? Billy swooshed a bit of worm around in ketchup and horseradish sauce. I know why he didn't. Yeah, you're so smart. Big deal. Alan couldn't get the $50 out of his head. What was his father going to say when he told him he'd bet $50 and lost? Jeez, he gnawed at his thumbnail. He wouldn't come because he knows I've won. He knows I could eat 20 worms if I had to. Yeah? Yeah? Well, you ain't won yet. There's still seven to go. You act so big. Where do you begin to feel it in your stomach? You think you know everything. <laughs> yeah, you'll see. You wait. Ha ha, said Billy. You think you can scare me talking like that? Fooey. He strolled past Alan out into the sunlight. Hi, said Tom, popping up from behind a barrel. <laughs> said Billy disdainfully and walked on. All right, chapter 19, the ninth worm. That is not a worm, yelled Billy. How can it be a worm? Jeez, it must be two feet long. Let's draw a two foot long worm. <laughs> okay, it's gotta be a really gross color, kind of browny. Okay. It's a worm, said Alan stubbornly. It's just like all the others. I rolled it in cornmeal and fried it. It's over two feet long, screeched Billy. He knew something was up. Otherwise, Joe wouldn't have come back, slouching in the doorway, pretending to be gazing up at the clouds. But Billy noticed he kept glancing at Alan at him. And Tom was peering in the window again. Something was up. Look, said Alan, I'll cut it. You can see for yourself. It's a worm. There. See? Come on, eat up. We ain't got all day. Joe and me have to go to Shushan with his father. Billy poked at the huge worm with his fork. Something sure was up. He ate the piece Alan had cut, licking the rest over the, of the worm over carefully as he chewed. He ate another bite. Oh, ugh. He forgot to dip it in the horseradish sauce. Come on, come on, come on, said Alan. Yeah, said Joe. Eat up, Billy. We gotta go. I'll never be able to eat the whole thing, thought Billy. It'll choke me. It's too much yuck at once. Half, he croaked. I'll eat half. This is some sort of a ringer. There's never been a worm this long. Okay, said Alan. Then the bet's off. Suit yourself. Come on, Joe. He chickened out. Let's go. All right, all right, said Billy, playing for time the whole thing. You'll make yourself sick, said Alan. He's too anxious, thought Billy. What's going on? Leave him alone, said Joe. Let him eat it. It's his stomach. 
He's trying to cover up for Alan, thought Billy. He ate another bite. Then he began to scrape the cornmeal carefully off the worm with his knife. What are you doing? said Alan. I think I'll have it plain today. No cornmeal. That's not fair. You can't. <gasps> glue! screamed Billy all of a sudden. Glue! You glued two crawlers together. Jeez, you bunch of lousy cheats. Tom, Tom, look what they tried to do. Glue! Panting, Tom bent over the plate. <gasps> You're right, jeez. Alan kicked a pail, clattering against the wall. I told you he wouldn't work. It wouldn't work. He screamed at Joe. All right, so it didn't work. You couldn't think of anything better. That's cheating," said Billy. "I ought to win right now. You cheated. Fifteen worms in fifteen days!" yelled Joe. "You ain't won yet." "But you cheated!" shouted Tom. So what? They argued and yelled, striding here and there about the yard, about the barn, sprawling against posts, flinging up their arms, kicking walls, banging down a pail or an orange crate, squeezing their heads between their hands. It doesn't make any difference, Joe yelled at Billy. It didn't work. You didn't fall for it. If you'd eaten the whole thing and then found out it was two worms glued together, then you could have claimed to win because Alan was cheating. Big mouth, shouted Alan from the horse stall where he was kicking the slats in. Who thought it up? Not me. Who cares who thought it up? shouted Tom. It's still cheating. A pig looked in at the door and then wandered away. Joe ran out and stuck his head under the faucet by the kitchen steps. A minute later, he came running back in, yelling and dripping. That's not true. What's not true, said Billy, turning around from shouting at Alan. Whatever you said. What did I say? It doesn't make any difference. You're a liar and a cheat, and so anything you say isn't true. You're crazy. Even Hitler, or Jack the Ripper, sometimes said things that were true. It's impossible to lie all the time. Behind them, Tom lay down on his back and said, Ugh! Alan and Joe and Billy turned to look at him. What's the matter with you? Ugh! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Silence. A bird flew in and then threw out a broken window in the loft. Well, said Billy, yeah, I see what you mean. He and Alan and Joe sat down on the overturned orange crates. After a while, Joe said, Anyway, I was right. If Billy'd eaten it, it would have been cheating. But he didn't, so it's not. The bet's still on. The pig looked in at the door again. A pig's loose, said Alan. Look. Where, said Billy. Oh, boy, come on. We got to catch it. He jumped up and the pig bolted. Woo! Yelled Billy, dashing out. Tom and Alan and Joe scrambled after him. All right, that's it. Next, chapters 20 plus. <laughs> Bright learners. I'm so excited to finish this book because these chapters are extremely short. All right. See you next time. Bye, bright learners. Don't forget to read good books.